Hello, happy people. This is your host, Crypto Puffy, and welcome to our today's show. Decentralized finance has shown tremendous growth over the last 12 months. In fact, the total volume locked in DeFi has reached $37.46 billion in volume as this April 2021. However, over 90% of DeFi applications were built on Ethereum network and with a growing number of users, there has been the challenge of severe network congestions. These network congestions cause low transaction speeds and big increase in transaction fees. So, these are the problems that MintLayer intends to solve. MintLayer is a long-term secure solution for scaling and accelerating the future of decentralized finance. In this video, we are going to have a quick overview of this project, highlighting all the important features you need to know about it. Be sure to watch the video to the very end, and especially if you want to know more about how Mint Layer will help entrepreneurs and innovators build the future of borderless finance that benefits the global society. But before we jump into the video, please note that the content here is meant for education and entertainment purposes only and is not to be used as financial advice. With that being said, let's jump into it. Mint Layer is a blockchain for financial markets that is built on Bitcoin network. It is future proof and improves direct token interoperability and enables ways to trade value, create systems, functionalities and participate in truly trustless finance. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is a protocol that seeks to eliminate Ethereum's flows and enhance its features on the Bitcoin infrastructure. The main vision of this project is to create a long-term sustainable network for decentralized finance, leveraging a Bitcoin security model. The idea be behind Mint Layer is that in a free market economy, every individual should be free to produce, store, exchange assets and access financial markets without any constraints. They also believe that access to all forms of capital is the lifeblood of advancement and they exist to help entrepreneurs and innovators build the future of borderless finance that benefits the global society. The project is keen on financial markets and aim to eliminate the problem of having to choose between decentralization and scalability, speed and transaction speeds, privacy and convenience, and security and usability. Midlayer's dynamic slot allocation, DSA, consensus, merges proof of stake and Bitcoin technologies to make decentralized financial markets attack proof. The proof of stake system alone has innate flaws because it's missing the security layers native to the proof of work mechanism. On the other hand, proof of work alone cannot compare to the security of Bitcoin. Therefore, MintLayer's DSA combines both mechanisms to make a network that's secure regardless of scale. The protocol achieved this through the following functions. Bitcoin anchoring, a checkpoint system, and randomized selection. It aims to achieve scalability by fitting more into less. This means that users can batch multi-token transfer into a single transaction to increase scalability. Block size is limited to 1 megabyte and signature aggregation reduces each payment size by 70% to avoid network clogging. This ensures low transaction fees even at scale. MintLayer also employ a five-step model in sending transactions through peer-to-peer -peer batching while it retains scalability. The mechanics of this project are such that it is a protocol for every financial usability. Hence, it has a wallet that benefits the full spectrum of users from institutional investors to beginner traders, that connects tokens from different blockchains into an interconnected ecosystem, and has an inbuilt DEX that supports atomic swap and is a censorship resistant exchange. Quite impressive, right? Hey, are you enjoying the video so far? And also getting value from it? Then please hit that like button and if you haven't done so already, subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about our newest videos. And just in case you are new here, our channel is your home of all amazing facts and latest developments in the world of cryptocurrencies. Well, let's go back to the project now. The features of MintLayer are built to be compatible with blockchain ecosystem such as Bitcoin Lightning Network, the native multi-signature, BIP32, BIP38 and BIP174, hardware wallet integration for private keys and UTXO structure. 
It is both developer enabled and free of Bitcoin pollution and is built for financial use case with the help of the following qualities and functions. Therefore, it's truly decentralized trading, security tokens, stable coins, non-custodian asset storage, DeFi apps, and confidential settlements. All of which are elaborately explained on the website. So feel free to check it out if you want to have more details. With regards to the roadmap, the project achieved plenty of milestones since Q2 of last year, which was the first year of the project. This includes conceiving the project idea, dynamic allocation allotment, conceptualization, and the DSA testing and prototyping. This year, on 2021, they have already attained their first milestone, institutional private sale. They intend to conduct a public sale, ERC20, in Q2 of 2021, and also have specific milestones set for each quarter until 2023. It's a pretty impressive roadmap. Midlayer has a Midlayer token, MLT, which powers the Midlayer network and keeps the blockchain secure at any level of scale. Its functions are explaining data in the project's light paper, white paper, and consensus paper. But in general, the MLT tokens serve three essential areas, staking, community engagement, and ecosystem tools. Using the proprietary consensus DCA system, Midlayer can operate without specific gas token. However, MLT tokens can be used to pay fees and title stakers to decide which other tokens to accept as network fees. The project has 400 million MLT tokens at launch and 200 million MLT in staking rewards. MLT is also distributed across the network's participants from fair launch, pre-seed, seed, IDO, market and listing, protocol development, community incentive, company resolve, all the way to team and advisor. Lastly, the platform has a community that is open for everyone users, developers, partners, investors, and entrepreneurs. You can join them on social media, ask questions, and network with them and the others on mid layers. There is also a news section where you can get updates on the project and different contact channels to which you can reach out to them in case you wish to participate. Well, that's all we had for today and I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like the video if you got value from it and make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so you never miss any of our videos in the future. Till next time, cheers guys!